Welcome back to another episode of Curios for the Curious. Today we're looking at a wood carving of a reptile lizard. Possibly a gecko, although what's throwing me off right now is the size of this uh, particular carving. Uh, in fact, I can't get it into its entirety in frame without losing uh, detail on it so we're just going to have to bring it up closer you can see the size of it compared to my hand and just for reference this is a 36 inch yard stick and you can just see at the edge of the tail here that if I continue to slide this that this is about 39 inches long so almost a meter in length so this is one of my larger pieces of the reptile lizard series but if we start off by looking at the back like some of the previous uh, examples in some other videos feel free to check them out on the reptile lizard gecko wood carving with dot dots painted, hand painted dots. You can see this is roughly flat uh, finished still some tool marks left in uh, but it is flat so it can be displayed flat on a horizontal surface, you know, mantle, table, etc. or vertically because of these uh, loops formed by the limbs and if you have wall hangers or small brads they will pretty much uh, vanish uh, visually because of all the dots nearby. So this one is made in Indonesia and again roughly finished. You see all the tool marks still on there. In fact this is actually raised up a little bit right here. You see the shadow from the edge. Let's flip it over and start at the head. The eyes are elevated and uh, pupils are represented by these large uh, white dots. And then on the lid edge, which is raised up, you can see these series of white dots painted along the eyelids on both eyes. Again, they are raised. Uh, if we look at the top of the head to the nose, we can see that this middle band of dots is actually kind of a crimson red. And then it's uh, flanked on both sides by these kind of beige dots. They're not quite... Uh, golden yellow. Uh, there are other more gold dots on the figure itself, but these appear to be more beige in color. And you see they kind of form a kind of uh, wave pattern on the head. And then flanking those are these bright reddish, not quite orange, but uh, bright red dots on both sides and then again we get meet the eyes right there what we see here banded at the neck is actually two colors and I'm kind of surprised how crudely painted they are I'm surprised they didn't use dots but uh, it's kind of a grayish blue and a more uh, light gray blue but uh, it could be. yeah there is a little bit of a blue mixed in there if we continue with um, the limbs themselves these limbs have all four of them have these golden yellow dots and then around the edge perimeter of the limbs are these white dots and then the toe phalanges are 
webbed with these carved grooves and then highlighted with these white dots almost in a skeletal pattern. Same with this forelimb. And if we skip right to the rear limbs, so we can see likewise the same thing. Golden dots, white outlines, webbing represented by these grooves, and uh, white dots on the toes themselves. Getting back to the torso, uh, back region, we don't really see in a representation of the abdomen here. This looks actually to be truly a representation of the back area and then the flanks uh, towards the belly which would be truly underneath in this case. So if we look closer and see there's a lot going on. We have these same beige dots as these ones but larger and each one is encircled by these crimson rings and those pretty much all are flowing all the way down towards the hip pelvis area uh, surrounding that on both sides of the center of the back are these wavy uh, bands again of that grayish blue dark and then the center one of the lighter gray blue and somehow they meet here and then continue into another shape all the way down to here where it kind of forms this V pattern similar up here at the neck head region. Uh, if we go outside the perimeter of the gray bands we can see on both sides flanking uh, the spinal area are these bright red dots again on both sides and continuing with the beige dots and you can see that the red dots kind of flame out to represent kind of a scale pattern, very rough one. And then those will be uh, highlighted edgewise to points with the beige dots. And then when we finally get to towards the belly area, kind of represented by the final edges on both sides, we can see it's actually these purple dots that will help highlight these uh, kind of jagged uh, scale patterns formed by the uh, beige dots. Almost like a fractal pattern, but very more random. Uh, we already covered the limbs. Let's continue down the tail. Again, we have this V pattern of the dark gray, lighter gray, bluish uh, bands. Here we have uh, almost a continuation of the almost flame-like scale pattern of the bright red followed by the beige followed by the purple so you can see it's kind of flaring out that way and then finally for the remainder of the tail we can see now a full usage of the dark gray blue and the lighter grayish blue dots in full dot pattern and again representing kind of a jagged alternating scale pattern going all the way down to the taper of the tail to the tip so again I'm kind of surprised they didn't use a dot pattern around here but maybe they felt that that was actually more distinctive particularly from a distance I can kind of see that so if this was uh, you know, mounted up high on the wall, then that might help it stand out a bit more. Um, just another look here. If we want to do a quick summary on the remainder of the shaping here, we do have kind of a ridge peak starting at the nose, 
going to about here and then flattens out and widens to a flat plane along the body. You can see that with the reflection there. Uh, and then it begins to taper to a ridge again for the remainder of the tail segment. So This has been a look at a wood carving hand painted dots on a reptile lizard figure. This has been another episode of Curios for the Curious. Feel free to check out other episodes in the series on artsy type objects. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and expanded topics. And we also do a selection of book review and other media reviews. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.